Welcome everyone, welcome to my furry protogen. Whoa, what is this game? But before we drop off there, join the Discord, everyone. It's free. But yeah, other than that, subscribe if you want to support this channel. If you're new, if you're not, well, here we are, here we go. Yes, I know. It's the same freaking intro for a thousand videos. You know, um, yo, oh. Let's call him Brizzy. I don't freaking know, man. I don't freaking know. Alright, going back to the game. First of all, nobody mentioned to me that it was a furry game like this. But hey, I could be right. This might be a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, everybody. Or a 6 out of 10. I don't know. We will see. We will see if this has the story. For me, I'm, I'm all about the story. Character design, all the technical stuff. Let's see. I'll analyze this with my freaking 5, 6, 18 senses, alright? Alright. The rising sun hit me right in the face as soon as its rays splashed through a crack in the window curtains, which was so inopportun inopportunely located right above my head. Okay, I think I'm gonna use a space bar on this one. Let me alt tab real quick. We are recording. Praise Jesus. Wait, what? Did they not? I barely restrained myself from letting out a miserable groan and tried to turn over, hiding my face in the pillow to sleep off as much as I could. Good morning, Brizzy! You're already awake! Rise and shine, son. You have a lot of work today. I didn't know there was dad. Dad, too cheerful for a man who got up with the sunrise, opened the curtains that served as a door to my room and stepped right up to my bed. He put his hands on his hips, beaming with a wide smile. I fidgeted on my bed then tried to press my face harder into the pillow. Ah, please, let me sleep. It's still early. Early? It's not too early, son. It's time to accomplish new feats! Not feet. What? Feats? Dad? Really? What do you mean? Your everyday, son, is a little feat for entire community. Come on, get up. I made an agreement with Stefan. Stefan? Stephen. I think that's Stephen. I'm wrong. Somebody's gonna comment down below. If they, if they ever, if anybody watched this video, they're gonna be like, This guy can't pronounce fucking names right. Okay. He promises to you the best outfit for your birthday for free. He agreed to do it as a gift. Can you believe it? Without hiding the sarcastic notes in my voice, I chuckled from under the blanket. It is unbelievable, an act of outstanding generosity. I told him the same thing. Steve, yo. Stefan. It's gotta be f fan. Stefan. Stephen. Stefan. He's the best dater in our- Oh, it's the best dater in our village. Sorry about my voice. A truly gifted man, as if the mother of heaven herself kissed him on his hands. So get up soon. Your mom has already made breakfast. You don't want to be late, do you? Stefan is a busy man. He won't have time later. Although, of course, he will definitely have time for our chosen one. What the frick, man? Is this... What is this? Dad smiled at me affectionately, patted me on the top of my head, peeking out from under the blanket, and went to the window to throw open the curtains. I grimaced and sighed heavily, but didn't say anything. It was better to accept my fate than to start an argument for the hundredth time. Oh, yeah. Listen, big tip. Before you start, talk back. Think about this okay i already know what you've been you've been through the exact you've been to argument a thousand times you know you're like damn it's always me taking the l even though logically speaking in a court of law with judges and everything you'd pretty much win logically speaking with the sound proof and evidence but hey you talk back boom you know it's over it's world war three four maybe i don't know after almost 20 years of this i had no strength left to argue no matter how much my headache headache no matter how much my head ached any time I, I heard the Chosen One stuff, it stuck to me like a stigma when I was 3 years old and a little had changed since then. The day when my fate was predetermined by the gods to be more precise, one god who according to legends is the younger brother of the mother of heaven named Lit. Doesn't sound so lit to me. I remembered for the rest of my life. Which is strange because at that time I was no more than 3 years old. Maybe these were false memories I invented for myself while listening to my parents' stories about this wonderful day throughout my childhood. But it didn't matter whether they were false or not, all that mattered were the blurry pictures stuck in my head. It was the flame of the bonfire which a solemn birthday celebration of all the village children born on this day took place. It just, con it just, coinc it just coincided with the end of the year when our settlement of Northern Valley was harvesting. It was the singing of the school choir girls, the smell of freshly brewed birdberry juice. Birdberry? Alright. The elders came to give us the usual instructions to the younger generation. 
Okay, they had informed us of a vision. He had seen he had seen Lit, who in the form of a star bird, descended to him from the sky and told him that I, a three-year-old child, the son of a simple farmer, carried a great destiny. According to the elder in the future I would become the head of the community. That's cap, that's bull. And if I decide to turn off the of, to turn off my path, I would have instantly brought terrible trouble to the village community. Though what kind of trouble was this? No one specified. We were simply confronted with that fact. And so in an instant I turned from a simple child, the same as all my peers, into a savior whose fate was predetermined by someone from above or the rest of my life. Damn, this guy is the MC before he was even four years old. In my opinion, the other story is all about it's full of malarkey, honestly. Did nothing happen? The villagers are all superstitious wackos. Everyone immediately took the elders' words on fate. After all, they used to live like this for many centuries, never questioning this story. Which is more like a fairy tale in my eyes. So this village is like a cult then, huh? At first I really liked the idea of being the chosen one. It does sound nifty, right? It does feel like it depends on the circumstance, I guess. For for people like us, it, it would be easier if God literally said, Hey, this is your purpose. Do this. There we go. I am not lost since I'm trying to at least have some kind of guided path, right? Rather than going through this uh, life, living, trying to walk through a f uh, sh uh, foggy road or some shit. Yeah. But some people like them, I get it. I get it, man. You, if you want to be something else, but now it's predetermined to be... Know who you are, what you are, what you're gonna do for the rest of your life, pretty much. Some people have options. If you got a boatload of the money, if you don't got a boatload of money, well, you'll be like me, you know, you're stuck. Here's your course. Of course, when you graduate, you better be applying that course, you know. If you're not, then you're pretty much kind of wasted four years. You're not fully utilizing the knowledge you've, you've gained by yourself, yeah. Okay, I was a simple child, and few people noticed you had to do everything on par with peers and take part in natural competition for toys? What? For roles in children's games and a queue for bungee jumping. Yet I became almost the first person in the community looked after like a precious brilliant. Ew. I got the best treats, the best toys, the best clothes. Every villager considered their duty to wish me a good day every time they saw me. Damn, that's kinda, it's kinda annoying. Unless you're a complete narcissistic psychopath. I remove the psychopath, just put a narcissist, you know. The teachers at the village school treated me differently, always helped and didn't give poor grades, and even if even if I deserved them. And how wonderful my birthdays were. Now my birthday was celebrated separately from the others. Previously all children born on the same date celebrated the same way and received the same gifts until the age of 20. But the birthdays of the chosen one were celebrated separately, so the birthdays of the others were usually switched to another day. I got the best, most desired gifts. And most importantly, everything was free. Treats, fancy clothes, and anything I could ask for. My parents couldn't get enough of it. Their son was the real savior of the community to whom everything was given. But in return, whose life forever belonged to this tiny piece of land with a settlement on it, on it and belonged to each resident separately because I had to save them. Even though I didn't know from whom or from what. I'd been asking myself this question since I was 10 years old, for goodness sake. From whom would I save the Northern Valley? If it meant the attack of the southern tribes, I would hardly be of any help. It was highly doubtful that I would become some kind of beast. I didn't show much success in fighting. My teachers had always said that experience would come with time, that I just needed to train tirelessly, but what kind of child would like such a prospect? I did better with a bow. Thanks to my good eyesight, aiming came naturally, but I lacked concentration. My thoughts were constantly hovering somewhere high, causing me to be distracted and miss. In short, even when I deemed to be doing well, I wasn't the best. But teachers only repeated, it didn't matter, your destiny is different. Damn, everybody treated him differently. There is, is, but he's not built differently. Interesting. The theory of being a great warrior fell away. Then what? Was it to prevent a global natural disaster? Stop invaders from deep space? But I didn't have any superpowers, no gifted intelligence. And the longer I thought about all this, the longer I searched for answers to the questions posed for me or to me. The more I realized that even Damien, my friend, would have coped with the role of the Chosen One much better than me. He was the only person I could call my friend, although it was by a stretch. In fact, it wasn't my friend at all. Damien was generally better in everything related to physical fitness and being chosen. The Council of Elders assigned him to me as a child. He said that I needed a delightful companion and defender. Damien was only 6 months older, but he carried the burden of my babysitter, guardian, and friend with dignity. 
Damien played this role perfectly with honor and dedication to the council. He portrayed a friend who sincerely liked to spend time with me, but each of us understood that there was no genuine connection between us. Damn! Damn! Oof. I wasn't interested in, I wasn't interested in Damien's life, and Damien wasn't interested in what I wanted, what I thought, or how I viewed my future as the chosen one. For him, I was a task that couldn't be failed because the terrible troubles would surely await the Northern Valley. The North. Mm -hmm. Maybe Damien. Damien kind of sounds like... Damien, Damien. Usually it's associated with something bad. But hey, I don't know. I could be wrong. Damien was devoted to the council in the village. Yes, we get it, man. Damien is him. Clearly, uh, he's the best. Gifted in all things. But I was a chosen one and Damien was happy for me because that's what the stars decided. So that's what was right. I was very far from this philosophy, but they tried not to show it once again. Just once during the year of our friendship, I, I bumped into the mic, I'm sorry. I mentioned in passing that the fate of the chosen one didn't please me very much. It was unfair to decide for me who I should be and what to do in life. I said I would much prefer the life of an ordinary peasant than preparing for the role of savior. And even though the life of an, order, an, an ordinary peasant wasn't the most pleasant for me, it was better than the burden that the elders placed on my shoulders. When Damien heard my revelations, he was terrified. Damn. Interesting. He just lost his friend immediately. After they wouldn't punch their chosen one, they wouldn't send me to prison till the day of all days when they needed my help. But Damien was filled with righteous anger and outrage. My words didn't fit into his picture of the world, and the only threat he knew was punishment from the elders. It was as if Damien himself was afraid that the beat of a story about the chosen one would fall apart if he questioned any of it. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Reminds me of a web dude that I was like my little brother is a genius of the academy or something. It was a web dude. He got he, he pretty much regressed to the past. And it was like there was this one guy that was really crazy. I know this is a sidetrack. So he's a smart guy, right? He's got all these chess pieces and everything. But apparently his ancestor was the the scribe you know the guy who writes stories for the main hero like their legends and whatnot and he, his dream is to find someone who he thinks is their hero the chosen one and he would be there by his side he doesn't, doesn't have, he has to be he's just a, a scribe uh an, a historian a an aqua a, aqua letter i can't remember that it's a job everyone you know someone just writes what's happening Guy was crazy. Guy was sick. He was a wacko. And I'm assuming Damien's kind of like that, maybe? In my innocent opinion, I wanted to jeopardize the fate of a tribe, yada yada yada. I tried to explain to him that this wasn't my intention. So I get it. I'm skipping some of this, because I pretty much get it. I get it. Damien's uh, he's not, he's not a friend. He's, uh, he's, got, he's, he's got this perfect picture of the world. And if it's different, if his views are challenged, he, go, he goes crazy. He gets um, all insane Okay then, let's see we have a special boy, it was sickening. Okay, I'm skipping a lot of this. It was great, no friends, no hobbies. I saw myself as a small animal cage. Yes. Yes, I'm skipping some of the, the dialogue monologue everyone, because I've been talking for like 15 minutes straight. The elders control what I read. Yeah, damn, alright, I get it. You're now, you're uh, you're stuck. You can't, you're, there's no freedom here. There's no individuality here. You're, you're here for the village. For the grand chosen one gesture. Uh, finally, different character, dab. Brizzy, get up quickly. Your breakfast will be cold soon. My mother's voice come, came from the kitchen. As enthusiastic as my father's, I took a deep breath, looked at the ceiling one last time, and got out of bed. I dressed in pre prepared clothes and went, out, went to, out to my parents in the kitchen. Mom and dad were talking about something at the table, smiling at each other. Okay, then. Okay, he's, ma he's mad. Alright, they looked at each other with such warm their eyes. Not a single girl in the settlement was a match for me, simply because each of them only tried to please the chosen one. Interesting. Several times I tried to invite girls I knew on a date, and every time it turned into some kind of farce. Oh, damn. All of his relationships are pretty much fake. He's treated special because he's the chosen one. It's like, what if- Alright. What if you were- you had the knowledge, let's say you were at the time of Jesus or like Buddha, and you know this person is gonna be great. You see in the future, you have a vision. So the question is... Alright, let's say you're helping them. Are you helping them because as a person? 
or are you helping them because you, you know that they're gonna be someone who's great and you're trying to latch onto them or you know because if you don't if this guy dies or whatnot it's your survival your survival depends on this person so you're a leech but you could be both you could be uh you could be trying to be friends with a chosen one or whatever but at the same time trying to fulfill the prophecy or whatever so it's a it's a complicated thing okay i'm just gonna skip this yep you get it man we get it we get it under the pressure damn this guy got a lot of problems this guy got a lot of problems some of you might be mad sleepy why are you skipping this whole thing see this is the problem here you gotta keep it short this is what happened to no more future you know, this is what happens in No More Future at the beginning, you know, without, without the rewrites and everything. Uh, there's too much... I get the exposition should be at the beginning. It is a visual novel, but I'm doing... It feels like more of a novel. There's nothing visual about this other than the text. You know, it's like watching an anime, but it's just a background. And the main character, we don't even see their... Char characteristics, or I'm saying the appearance. There we go. I shrugged my shoulders, not distracting myself from the oatmeal. Of course, Dad, I finished it last week. Atta boy, I told you, honey, our son is the most responsible boy of all. I already knew that, dear, and to think that such an exciting event is just a day away. Our child becomes an adult. It's not just a celebration of a simple child either, but a save- Oh, we're not- Yeah, I get it. It's the same yapping. No? <laughs> no. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ouch, my eyes, it's all pink and shit. My parents look at me with undisguised enthusiasm. Everything is ready, son. We've been waiting for you. Let's go soon. Okay, then. I tried to swallow my displeasure. In his long robe, I look more like an old bearded magician. Ew, that is like a cult. What the fuck, man? I can imagine it. He needs to run away. Run away. The heart of the village, da, 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 the bone, there was nothing I could do about it. My parents and I went to the very center of the village. I could also smell fresh to baked goods. People greeted me with shouts, shoes, and called me by only one name, the chosen one. Damn, they really are pushing this. No, I get it. It's a cult like thing. Residents, residents of the Northern Valley, today we celebrate a great event. Our chosen one turns 20 years old. The boy who came to our planet two days ago and settled amongst us to become our salvation has grown into a wonderful young man. The day when he will become the ruler of the Northern Valley and decide our fate is inexorably approaching and it's only a few months away. And today we will be happy to welcome a new significant chapter of our life. Hoorah! Yeah. This is some dictatorship, man. This is some... He has a speech? Alright. Let's see, Rizzy. Let's see how you rizz your way out of this one. Thanks to everyone who came today to celebrate my birthday. It is a great honor for me to see your joyful faces. I have turned 20 years old and this means that I have ceased to be a child. That I have grown into an adult with a whole life ahead of me. Every birthday I talk about how glad and grateful I am that fate chose me. What an honor it is to be your hope. Lies. Accusations. <laughs> But today I won't be telling you how honored I am because I lied. I have grown, changed, and today I want to tell each of you and myself most of all to choose your own destiny. No! No, wait a minute, what the fuck? Okay, say be- Here you go, here's freedom, individuality. Here's free will. Be yourself, and by the way, there is no lit and no mother of heaven. They were invented to- Oh my god, okay, now, now we're cooking. Alright guys, I need to drink some water, wait a minute. So they can build goats. Damn, it's like going to a, going to any church and saying your god ain't real. That's fucked up. Oh my goodness. It seemed that the entire bridge was plunged into deadly silence. <laughs> oh my god, what's gonna happen? Dear friends, our chosen one apparently is tired or overworked. Maybe he's sick with something? I'm asking the doctor to examine right now. Oh my god. I don't need to see healers. I'm totally fine, you sickos. Son, what are you doing? Why did you say that? Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Brizzy, Brizzy, come back! No, get me the fuck out of here. Let's run. I didn't know how long I had been running. It seemed like I was about to run around the entire planet in a circle. I tried not to look back. I tried to see the torches in the hands of the villagers running after me. But I was lucky. Apparently no one had followed me in the dark. 
Exhausted, I collapsed into some seemingly harmless bushes and instantly fell asleep. My sleep was dreamless and so deep that when I woke up at first, I didn't understand what had happened. Where I was and why the midday sun was already shining overhead. Oh my god, man. This guy has... A new breath of life has breathed into him, you know? It's a complete mess. Let's see. Alright, I didn't know the place well, but I remember that there was a river somewhere ahead and that I should probably go there. Let's go back to the village? Hell no, nah, man. That's insane. That's insane. They're gonna tear you. They're gonna skin you alive. Especially the elders. Alright. My mom and dad. You might be sleepy or not reading the whole thing. I don't need to, man. I read enough visual novels where it's like... I get it. I get the story. I get the entire thing. Alright. I just want to see what's cooking. How long would I have to walk if I decided to return? But on the other hand, I had nowhere else to go. I was stuck in the middle of the wild. Where to go? To the neighboring tribes? They were far away. I wouldn't reach them. Even if, an, uh, if, uh, even if I somehow did, it was unlikely that any would accept me. Interesting. But the way to the western tribes was too long. I definitely couldn't get there on foot unless I swam down the river. Interesting. So there are, I'm assuming there's north, south, west, and east tribes. Is there a central? Alright, let's see. What, what could I do? Continue to endure all this? I kicked angrily at the stone that came under my feet as I walked. The situation was taking a turn for the worse. Even if I calculated everything correctly and soon reached the river, there would be no fish for me to catch at this time of day. Either I would have to return, otherwise I would just die of hunger. Uh, yeah. I mean, I get it. 20 is years of life just... You keep it in every day, it's gonna, it's, it's a dam, man. Uh, the dam ain't gonna hold everything back. The water volume increases, it's gonna break eventually. Mm -hmm. Nah, will they burn him alive? Nah, they would do much worse things. That's what I assume, if it's like a cult thing, you know. Or religion, even if it's not a cult. It becomes a cult if it's a bit, it, if it's like a, a small religion. But every, if everybody accepts it's a religion, it's like, oh wow, it's, a, it's not a cult now. It's a... A thing but then again cult doesn't really mean bad if they say it's like an evil cult there we go that clarifies things right so he is at the shore the beach the water mm -hmm, chosen one okay yes damon would call him stupid all right all right now what should i do breezy said I buried my head in my knees and tried to get my emotions under control. It was impossible to go give up now. It was too dangerous. Okay, man. It's over. Mother of heaven or lit, whatever. It doesn't matter. If it exists and I was wrong, forgive me and tell me what to do. Give me at least some sign, please. I'm completely lost. It's over, man. If you're offended, then don't be. I don't didn't know what I was talking about. Things got pretty messed up. And listen, you're kind of wise and understanding, aren't you? I guess you would see I didn't mean any harm. The mother of heaven and lit were still silent. I mean, I thought how stupid the must look and laughed at myself. Yeah, right. How have I stooped so low? I'm talking to fictional creatures, no wonder they don't answer. You know what? I looked up at the sky so it was looking back at me. I don't need your help. In your advice, I'll take my chances without you. Holy shit. I guess lit is real. Uh... Either there were other people here, or the mythical mother of heaven elite got angry. Let's see, let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Oh my god! This story, this game, I was about to give it a, a 3 out of 10, you know, it's like, it's over. It's all just text. I might as well just release a whole novel rather than a visual novel, right? Saves the effort of creating backgrounds and coding. Yeah. Yeah. From a, from a 0 out of 10, this is, a, this is a good game. This is a good game. This is a 7 out of 10, man. Holy shit. My god. Look at those. Look at those guns, man. At that moment, a creature came out from behind a huge piece of the metal object and moved on two legs and looked very much like a human, but obviously it wasn't one. This creature had a weapon behind its back, and armor plates covered its entire body. God damn, she got those bazookas. The face was hidden behind the helmet. But when yellow lights were flashing, for a few moments I just stood there not knowing what to do. 
I wasn't afraid. Rather, it was just a stupor. Who was this and what was it doing here? The creature judging by its shape was a female. She noticed me and rushed towards me. She then said something but I didn't understand a word. Everything she said resembled one syllable. Pronounced in different intonations. I somehow forced myself to get a grip and blink. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, are you trying to talk to me? The girl, as far as you could tell from her impressive, uh, whoa, 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 you can't just say that, man. What the fuck? Exclaimed something and laughed, raising her hand and pressing something on her helmet. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think to switch my helmet to the right mode. I have never been to this plant before. I have not had a chance to communicate with the locals. Are you a local? What sex are you? Do you have names here? You're an intelligent species, aren't you? I, I blinked again, feeling extremely strange, as if I was in some absurd dream. Well, yes, I guess I'm intelligent. The girl in the helmet laughed. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. You've probably never seen my kind. Oh, and where are my manners? I immediately pounced with questions. So let's replay everything. I'll start over, okay? Hi, my name is NV0903. 0903, don't forget it. I am a protogen scientist traveling around the galaxy to collect info about fauna and flora on different planets. NV... Could you repeat it? NV0903. Or oh, you can just call me Juno. I assume you have names here, right? What's your name? My name is Brizzy and I'm, well, just a human. Juno nodded understandingly and smiled. Oh, well, if you're a human, then I guess you're a male, right? I shrugged my shoulders. Well, yes, I'm a guy. How old are you? I'm sorry, I completely forgot what people look like. I haven't encountered them for a long time. There are no more of them in this galaxy at all. Are you a juvenile specimen? I shook my head. If this was a delusional dream or some kind of hallucination from hitting my head, then at least I want to keep control of the situation. My man, comment down below. What happens if there's an alien spaceship that's dropped by, right? Loud bang. You're curious. A lot of people have curiosity in their genes. I know it's kind of spooky, but let's say, let's say it wasn't nighttime. It was like midday, afternoon. It's not that spooky. You got the balls to go in. <laughs> no pun intended. So you go in, you find this hunk of metal, you know, piece, protogen. What would you do? No, don't, don't, don't. Better not be freaky, man. Better not. Don't comment down that. Don't comment down. Don't comment that. This the whole video is gonna get flagged. Don't do that. Try to be in a normal scenario. What would you do? Wait, stop calling me that. I am Brizzy. And who are you? I've never seen anything like it. As I said, I am a protogen scientist. We are an intelligent species of cyborgs from a very far corner of the universe. Your planet is poorly studied. My species visited some time ago, but then, you know, everything was different here and there was not much nature. Wow! It's so exciting. I guess there are more animals now, right? But of course, there were no people here back then either. I smiled nervously. I hope you don't want to enslave us or something like that. At that moment, I thought we'd heard that the Elder's prediction from Lit could be true. That they left the village, brought trouble to the planet, and now aliens from outer space would destroy us. Goosebumps run down my skin, even the hair of my head seared with fright. My man! Ah, oh, well, he doesn't have experience with social... You know, being sociable, you know, he doesn't have social skills. I get it, because most of his acquaintances are all fake. This is the chosen one. But Juno looked at me like I was an idiot. She's like, enslave you? Have you not- do you not have scientists here, the word? If I wanted to enslave you, I would have called the military, ding dong. Although I couldn't see your face, it seemed to me that all her emo all her emotions were conveyed by her helmet and laughed out loud. What? No! I'm a scientist and researcher. I study and document all the planets I travel to. This is our universal mission and even hobby. We protogens don't enslave anyone, don't worry. Some of you people want to, huh? I get it, I get it. I get it, sleepy heads. I get it. You want to. No, don't look at me like that. That's weird. Ah, well then, that's good. Welcome, I guess. Thank you. What stage of technolog technological progress are you at now? What energy do you use? I blinked again. Damn, this civilization is freaking Neanderthal. I thought they were... What are you talking about? Well, I guess you're not even a type 1. Damn, I'm sorry. Forget what I said. Everything has to come naturally. Your kind has to figure it out yourself. I'm forbidden to share knowledge. A friend of mine got to a planet a couple of decades ago whose inhabitants hadn't even invented the wheel yet and quickly told him everything about how to evolve as soon as possible. 
As soon as he did it, such chaos began there. It was horrible. So it is better not to tell you anything important. You will have to do everything yourself. I like her, man. I like her. Maybe we could just play as Juno. Brizzy, you're out. Get out of here. What are you even talking about? Am I dreaming? No. Why? Haven't you been in contact with other intelligent species before? I scratched my head. No. But except with the Kugel Kugels? What the f- But they are not that intelligent, just very clever animals. Kugels? How interesting. And who is that? Uh, they're kind of a fish, but they're not exactly fish. In short, they live underwater, but they're smart creatures. Alright, I'll have to study them later. Sounds really interesting. You know what would be the most funny plot twist? She's actually- she's not evil, but she's like- if any of you have read DC DC Comics, Detective Comics, DC Universe, right? We have Brainiac. He pretty much captures cities and studies them. Hell, some aliens, you know, try to... Just like humans. You find a live specimen. Well, those who have the stomach for it, cut them up into pieces, study their, you know, whole biological characteristics. You know, how their neural link functions and all that spazazz words. Yeah. That would be funny. She captures Brizzy, and then we die. I know, that's pretty dark, but I'm just I'm just waiting for it. By the way, your planet's quite beautiful. Where are you from? Do you have a settlement here? Yes, about an hour's work away, walk away. Maybe a bit more. In the Northern Valley, we are the largest community in this part of the planet. You have a small planet, but it's great. We start sooner and finish faster, right? Whoa! Wow! What do you mean? Oh man, my mind is so dirty, man. Get it, I gotta get it clean. What do we start? As I said, I have to write down all the information about these planets. Ah! <laughs> you almost got me there. I thought this was gonna turn into one of those games, man. Are this, are this everything I can get to? Could you take me to your elders or whoever is in charge in your village? You should calm down. She's wearing armor. She's uh, co fully covered, technically speaking. Okay, I swallowed, realizing that I couldn't go back there right now. And of course, I couldn't bring some creature with metal all over its body, then they would definitely burn me at a ritual bonfire. Sorry, why do you need them? You see, it's going to be hard for me alone. Usually, if they're intelligent races on the planet, I ask a local communi community for a companion as a guide and assistant. Things are much easier this way. Juno looked at me expectantly, and I realized I didn't know what to say to her. My man, she's offering you right now to be a guide. You gotta take that fucking opportunity, you know? You gotta swish it. You gotta, you gotta take that three-pointer. You gotta shoot it in, man. You don't miss your shot. On oh, no, one hand, I could take her to the village and stay there. Then sum up, explain my behavior, and ask the villagers for forgiveness. In this way, I had to beg for permission to stay where I escaped from only yesterday. Of course, I didn't want to continue such an existence, but if I wanted to survive, I had no choice. But at the same time, I suddenly realized that this was my chance. Maybe this is a signal that the Mother of Heaven sent me. The Mother of Heaven said, "My man, you're not getting, you're not getting bones. You know, you're not, get, you're not getting bodies. I get it, cause they're all fake. Well, here you go." A creature more intelligent from uh, more, more highly intelligent than your species, but they're hella hot. Here we go. In the form of this strange girl who was standing right in front of me right now and asking for help? Hell yeah! Let's go! I've always dreamed of traveling. I'm not gonna lie, I've always dreamed of traveling. The space. The space, what the hell? The space. The search for the stars. Yes, we can travel the Earth's oceans, but what about the oceans of, of the world outside our world? Mm -hmm. Technically speaking, the stars themselves, right? Dark matter. Uh, those are the darky, murky waters that you can explore. <sighs> but I'm a hundred years to hundred years early. Okay, I've always dreamed of traveling, dreamed of seeing the world. When else would I get such an excellent opportunity? After all, she probably had some food. She was someone who was prepared for long trips. What a creature, a pathogen, it didn't matter. Also, I had such a unique chance to communicate with an alien from outer space. She was a real intelligent being right here, completely unlike a human. More precisely, she looked completely different and somewhat similar to us at the same time. She's, my man, you need the term called anthropomorphs. Mm -hmm. I understand that starting a friendship with a lie was no good and it didn't work at all with people, but I couldn't stop myself. You know, you don't need to go to the village. Actually, you're awfully lucky. The thing is, I'm, well, you could say, the second most important person in the village. I was lying godlessly, hoping Juno wouldn't see it. She said that she hadn't seen people for a long time. Maybe she didn't remember how they could lie. Are you? Great! Then, 
It's a long walk to the village. We'll go next time. You can count on me. I'll help you myself. I'll be your guide. It's not difficult for me. I know our planet inside and out. That's a fucking lie, man. This guy hasn't got out of his fucking village for years. It's over. Why would you do this? A relationship built on a lie. It's hard to recover, man. You better, be, you better have a ton of good memories between and at the end when, you, when the lie is exposed. So hopefully, hope to God that the whole foundation doesn't just fall on itself. In the first joint outing, my lie would be revealed. But once it started, it would be too late to retreat. After all, this could be my last chance to escape. Brizzy, that's just great. I didn't expect to be so lucky. Are you sure you know everything here? Man, you can't do this is a Juno, man. What the fuck, man? This is fucked up. I'm ending this video out right here. This game from 0 to 10 immediately. I like it. All right. Uh, this is going to be on Wednesdays, everybody. Subscribe. You know the drill. Join the Discord for God's sake. If you don't, just follow me on all my other accounts. Please. But yeah. Good luck with what we're doing. We'll see you in the next episode. See ya.